IBS may be caused by non-celiac gluten sensitivity. Hi, this is Dr. Ruscio, and a recent placebo-controlled trial was published looking at the relationship between IBS and what's called non-celiac gluten sensitivity. Non-celiac gluten sensitivity is a new entity that's being um, identified and examined examined, which is essentially people that don't have a full-blown gluten allergy like celiac, but they have um, a more subtle case of a sensitivity. And so it's termed non-celiac gluten sensitivity. There's quite a bit of debate as to whether or not this is legitimate or whether or not this is just something that's an artifact of the gluten-free fad. Um, so some people I think want to dismiss the concept of um, any intolerances to gluten um, because they, again, are suspicious that it's probably just a gluten-free fat. Uh, this study, however, uh, really showed that non-celiac gluten sensitivity is uh, somewhat legitimate and it may be very legitimate or very, um, uh, very much so a problem in causing the symptoms of IBS or irritable bowel syndrome, which can consist of altered bowel habits, it may be constipation, it may be loose stools and diarrhea, it may be a combination of the two, it may include abdominal pain, gas, bloating, flatulence. And so what this study did was it took uh, 72 people and had them go on a gluten-free diet for six weeks and then observed a level of improvement that the subjects obtain from the gluten-free diet. Then, and this is the important part, Half the subjects were given a um, powder containing gluten, and the other half were given a placebo powder that contained no gluten. And then the researchers tracked if the improvements were maintained in both groups or if there was regression. Now, here's where it gets interesting. In the group that received the um, gluten, only 25% of those people maintained the improvement from the initial gluten-free diet. In the group that received the placebo, or no gluten, 83% maintained their improvement. So what we see here is a group of people go on a gluten-free diet, see improvements in their IBS. The patients that are taking gluten again, but unaware of it, 75% of them have a regression or a worsening of their symptoms. Uh, whereas if you are um, not receiving gluten or gluten-free still, 83% of those people maintained their improvements. So this certainly le legitimizes the concept that digestive symptoms that are consistent with IBS may be caused by non-celiac gluten sensitivity. Now, uh, what do you do with this information? Well, my recommendation is to look at this in kind of a three-step process. If you or someone you know has IBS, the first thing I'd recommend you do, change your diet. Try gluten-free and along with gluten-free, I would try a, an overall healthy diet, something like the paleo diet or the autoimmune paleo diet is a great place to start. If that resolves your problem, great, you're pretty much done. Um, if that only yields partial results or no results at all, you may want to try some digestive um, enzyme supports and a probiotic. See if uh, fooling around with those is able to elucidate improvement for you. And if neither one of those are, then there's a good likelihood that you may have an underlying uh, gut problem like a gut infection, um, something like candida or SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, and you should get yourself to a skilled clinician to have those investigated and treated. Okay, this is Dr. Ruscio. Hope this helps.